Hello, Guardian. Fail safe asked that I take over briefing duties while she works on her research. We were speaking earlier. She had disengaged her filter, so she used her... Uh, rain cloud voice. And she asked how it felt when I took the memories of the other saint. I told her it was like... becoming more myself. That saint and me, we are the same. But there was one important difference. You, Guardian. The other saint, he died alone. But I met you after Osiris sent you to find me. You gave me hope in my darkest time. I fought to live up to your example. That is how I survived. And slowly I found I was no longer living for you. You were good to have around, do not misunderstand, but... Uh, I was leaving for me. I told this to Failsafe, and she was quiet for a long time. Then she said she had to feed her frog, and I left. But I think it was a good talk. Listen, Guardian. I was thinking hard about how to beat the Conductor, and Osiris stopped me. He said the Conductor is very strong, and has abilities we cannot stand against. But, he said, maybe we can beat Maya Sandrej. Osiris told me the story of Maya, how she was lost in the Vex network, split into hundreds of copies, until the powers of the Echo brought her to life. The Conductor is one of those copies. Could be the first one, could be all of them smashed together. Maybe she does not even know herself. But Osiris is all Mayas are scientists. And we can see her thoughts in her experiments. We must find what she is trying to do. Failsafe has located pieces of tech to help you study the exobodies in Maya's laboratory. If we can learn what Maya is doing with those, maybe we can think of a way to stop her. Brains, not brawn, yes? It's not too late to accept. Everything I do is for the sake of a second golden age. A return to what we have all lost. The witness's failure showed that homogeny is fragile. Strength rises from individuality. It rejected the lesson of its own memory. Commander Takao's strength was their individual perspective. Their skill at directing an army. Not a hive mind. The echo of command and I were equally shapeless before we joined. It reformed my consciousness even as I made it into my mantle. Power joined to individual will. This is the key. Commander Takal lacked one. And the witness lacked the other. I hold both. With the Echo, I encouraged my Vex's individuality. I commanded your ally. With more application, could anything lie beyond my reach? I have the will and power to create a new Golden Age. I am no tyrant. The conductor listens to her chorus. Join it and be heard. I'm sure we'd both prefer you make that choice for yourself. But believe me, that isn't necessary.
has that pile of exo frames down in her lab. She was using them to host consciousnesses. I've been trying to figure out why, and then it hit me. Inconclusive. I need control data from other exos, and Europa's a great place to find some. decrypt another one of the conductor's exos. All I need now is a cerebral host matrix. One of the classic brain models. Could you help me out, Captain? uncover their secrets before she kills us all. We must gain access to Sundaresh's facility once again. With the data Failsafe has collected, we can better determine Sundaresh's use of the exoconsciousnesses within the Vexnet. The Conductor seeks to assimilate all of Sol under her command. She desires a golden age. But what does she really mean? With her methods, uh, I do not assume benevolence. All I know is that it would undo everything we have accomplished since the collapse. We cannot allow this. Empress Kaido believes that the Shadow Legion here are commanded by the defector Scion, Yurix. It would explain their interest in Maya's research, and the Echo. It wouldn't just be access to the Vex simulation network. It would give Yurix command over an entire Vex collective. You could see the danger in that. Maya is diverting Radiolaria to search the Vex simulation network, peering into other timelines, trying to find our own past. And to that end, raising an army of her own collective to subsume Sol. She can use her Echo to control Vex, but these are under her command completely. She's converting them to serve her. <sighs> Do they even know what they're doing? orphans from Variation Gamma of the Pink Sky World. I'm here with Dot 33 Shim and two Chiomas. Dot 27 and one who isn't sharing a number. If you're looking for a place, we've got one. We'll figure this thing out together. Thunderous's use of Chioma prefigures a dangerous compromise. We knew that she was capable of stepping beyond the bounds of ethics in her experimentation, but now we know the extent. The threat is serious. 
and imminent. I have decrypted the data contained in the signal. 227.97. To all teams, I've crunched the numbers. We're losing Essies at rates even higher than Myers during the Sunderesh incident. Stay in front of your team at all times, Geomas. Don't get separated. Fidelity test. How did I make you cry on our wedding night? Maya? Maya? Where are we? How? We're alive. How did I make you cry on our wedding night? You didn't. I made you cry, because I called you Sunrise, Surio Day, because your mother called you that, because it reminded you she was gone, that she missed the happiest day of your life, and, and I touched your cheek, and I told you there's always another sunrise, even after we see it set. The Gaussian Exomind. Sentimentality is higher than expected variance. Sanderesh is bringing copies of her wife, Chioma Essi, out of the Vexnet. Finding them, interrogating them, and discarding them. For her golden age? No. No, perhaps. What would be her own personal golden age? The wife she remembers. The one from her own simulation. And Maya will destroy Soul to find her. Sanderesh has recreated her caretaker. We face the same threat as before, and I do not believe it will be the last. Sanderesh convinced herself that she could never have loved this Geoma at all. Not this one. And not the others. But this Geoma loved Maya. We heard it. I am sorry for doubting. For believing the conductor for even one moment. I am so sorry, Osiris, for doing that to you. Now, Saint, don't apologize, you. You were forgiven from the first. Guardian, I can now confirm. Every exoframe in Maya's lab once held the consciousness of Maya's wife, Chioma Essi. Each a, a different version, pulled from the Vex network. Uploaded, judged, found wanting, and eliminated. Guardian, there are details about Maya Sandres I kept from Saint. He did not need to know the cruelty of the hands that touched his mind. Or how much they reminded me of my own. But today... I saw a reflection of myself... Had I lost my way. If I never found Saint and instead wrapped myself in obsession... I thought myself heroic in my search. A romantic that I was justified by my success. 
What if I had not realized my good fortune? If I had met Saint, not with relief, but with skepticism, to imagine myself finding Saint, deciding he is wrong, killing him, and then starting again, it would have broken me. And I believe it has broken Maya. One capable of such horror has defiled the concept of love. Do not forget what you're dealing with. the crypt another personal log taken from Maya Sanderish's domain. At first we discovered the method of her search, but we were mistaken as to what she was looking for. Now we understand. Here, listen. Maya Sanderish. Personal log. Incidental. The variances have been outside of acceptable bounds on each attempt. Incomplete or divergent memories. Outsize or diminished emotional responses. These forgeries are not my tomb. Oh, the memories are baseline. There are other timelines that mirror this one so closely that my interrogation would not, by itself, yield my tomb. They all loved me. They all remember the name of our daughter. That isn't the point. My Chioma would understand what I'm doing here. All she needs to do is look at the state of soul since our time on New Mona. The mistake of the collapse. Clovis's hubris. The revelation of the witness. My Chioma would see me as a savior, and that she and I have a chance to rescue humanity from itself. Do you see? She's a Pygmalion carving her love from the Vex, too obsessed with her sculpture's perfection to see that the flaws lie within herself. She doesn't remember Chioma, no more than she remembers the Golden Age. Their memories clouded by ego and need, far removed from the real. Chioma will die a thousand deaths before Maya realizes her love is conditional. But perhaps we can find her real Chioma. And she can convince Maya of her error. 